Okay, we're going to now work on problem M1816, and we're going to do a little basic activity-based costing uh, for manufacturing using this problem. Uh, first of all, we're given a lot of information, so we're going to we want to determine what the uh, what the per unit costs, uh, total costs, and per, per unit costs are for each of these items. So let's start out with direct materials. Uh, our, if you remember, our from your reading, our three main costs are direct materials, direct labor, and manufacturing overhead. So let's start with our first product there, uh, the C23 cams. Uh, direct materials we're giving has a cost of $30,000. Okay, and we are going to uh, add our direct labor cost, which are $5,000. Our third component is manufacturing overhead, which we'll get to in a second. Let's go to the U2 shaft, though, and let's enter the direct materials cost of 20000 and our direct labor cost of 10000 Next, we need to figure out, okay, what are we going to do for applying overhead? Again, remember, overhead, we're using an application rate. We're not using the actual cost. Uh, we can have overhead applied, over-applied, or under-applied. And so the first thing we need to do is calculate for each of these activities what what are we going to charge each of this product based on the use. So uh, under activity-based costing, we are we are applying manufacturing overhead on costs or on activities that drive those costs. So under our problem, we are given three different types uh, for our activity cost pool. Our first one is the activity cost pool is going to be machine setup. Okay, and our machine setup costs, we have a total cost of $600,000 that we're estimating and we're going to apply those. We're going to divide that by the number, our estimated number of setup hours of 12,000. So at that, we're going to apply our setup costs, our machine setup costs at $50 per machine setup. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to do material handling. Our material handling costs are budgeted at $120,000. We're going to divide that by our tons of material. So for each ton of material we are going to apply $60 in overhead cost. And then finally, for machine operation, we are going to have a budgeted cost of $500,000, and we're going to divide that on a per machine hour basis of 10,000 machine hours. So for each machine hour that we that each activity uses, we're going to apply $50 of overhead. So now we want to go up there, and we're going to look and say, okay, for their C23 shafts, our first one is machine setup. So how many machine setups did we have? Well, we had three setup hours. So the amount of overhead we're going to apply is three setup hours times our $50 rate below. So we're going to apply $150 worth of manufacturing overhead based on machine setup. Next, we're going to material handling and we handled 12.5 tons of material. We're going to take that times our predetermined overhead rate for that activity of $60. Okay, and that's going to give us $750 to apply for overhead based on material handling. And finally, our last one's going to be on machine operation. So that's based on machine hours. And this particular uh, product used four machine hours times our rate of $50 per machine hour. It gives us $200 we're applying there. We're going to do the same thing for the U2 shafts now. We're going to go and say on U2, for our first one, our machine setup hours, we had seven hours of, machete up hour, of setup hours times our predetermined rate of 50. Now notice we applied a lot more cost to the U2 shafts than we did the C23. That's part of the main benefit of activity-based costing is we're going through and we're saying okay 
who's actually using these resources? Well, the U2 shafts require a lot more machine setup, so we should apply more cost to that product based upon that because they're using more of that resource. So we're trying to more accurately apply those dollars. Our next one is material handling. And so material handling is based on tons of material and we use eight tons of material times our predetermined rate of $60 is this $480 that we're applying based on that. And then finally machine operation. Under machine operation we use five machine hours times our rate of 50 it gives us $250. Now if you notice we're applying more overhead to our C our U2 shafts and we are for our C23 shafts. That's because that process is taking more dollars than what um, than what the uh, C23 shafts are using or cams are using. So we can then finish up the problem we add up our total cost so we're gonna have our total job costs of 36,100 and 31,080. Uh, we can then come up with our unit price by units produced and we produced on the C23 500 and we also used um, we produce 300 shafts. We go ahead and finish it out to get our per unit basis. So our per unit cost is just going to be taking our total job costs divided by our number of units produced. So we have 7220 for our costs on the C23 cams and for our U2 shafts our total cost is going to be $103.60. Again that's how we allocate uh, based on activity based costing. Again the purpose of activity based costing is to most properly allocate and equitably allocate those actual costs that were incurred in manufacturing overhead.